reading through the Bible in a year. May 15th, Numbers 24, Psalm 66 through 67, Isaiah 14, and 1 Peter chapter 2. And Balaam saw that it was good in the eyes of Yahweh to bless Israel. So he did not go as at other times to encounter omens, but he set up his, rather, he set his face toward the wilderness. And Balaam lifted up his eyes and saw Israel dwelling tribe by tribe, and the Spirit of, of God came upon him. Then he took up his discourse and said, The oracle of Balaam, the son of Beor, and the uh, oracle of the man whose eye is uncovered, the oracle of him who hears the words of God, rather, the words of God, who beholds the vision of the Almighty, falling down, yet having his eyes opened. How fair are your tents, O Jacob, your dwellings, O Israel, like the valley that, valleys that stretch out, like gardens beside the river, like aloes planted by Yahweh, like cedars beside the waters. Water will flow from his, from his buckets, and his seed will be many upon the waters. And his king shall be lifted up higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God brings him out of Egypt, for he is like the horns of the wild ox. He will devour the nations who are his adversaries, and gnaw their bones in pieces. Right, he will gnaw their bones in pieces, and shatter them with his arrows. He crouches, he lies down as a lion, as a lion who dares rouse him. Blessed is everyone who blesses you, and cursed is everyone who curses you. Then Balak's anger turned against Balaam, and he struck his hands together. And Balak said to Balaam, I called you to curse my enemies. But behold, you have blessed them repeatedly these three times. So now, flee to your place. I said I would honor you greatly, but behold, Yahweh has held you back from honor. And Balaam said to Balak, did I not tell your messengers, who, whom you had sent to me, saying, Though Balak were to give me his house full of silver and gold, I would not do anything to, tras to trespass the command of Yahweh, either good or bad, of my own accord. What Yahweh speaks, that I will speak. So now, behold, I am going to my people. Come, and I will advise you what this people will do in, uh, to your people in the last days. Then he took up his discourse and said, The oracle of Balaam, the son of Beor, and the oracle of the man whose eye is uncovered, the oracle of him who hears the words of, the words of God and knows the knowledge of the Most High, who beholds the vision of the Almighty, falling down yet having his eyes opened. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star shall come forth from Jacob. A scepter shall rise from Israel and shall crush through the, the forehead of Moab, and tear down all the sons of Sheth, and Edom shall be a possession. Seir, its enemies, also will be a possession, while Israel performs valiantly. And from one, Jacob shall have dominion, and will make the survivor perish from the city. Then he looked at Amalek, and took up his discourse, and said, Amalek was the first among the nations." but his end shall be destruction. Then he looked at the Kenite and took up his discourse and said, Your habitation is enduring, and your nest is set in the cliff. Nevertheless, Cain will be consumed. How long will Ashur keep you alive? And he took up his discourse, or then he took up his discourse and said, Woe, who can live except when God has ordained it? But ships shall come from the coast of Kittim, and they shall afflict Ashur, and will afflict Eber. So they will also come to destruction, or they also will come to destruction. Then Balaam arose, and went, and returned to his place, and Balak also went his way. Now Psalms 66 through 67. <clears throat> Make a loud shout to God, all the earth. Sing praise for the glory of his name. Establish his praise as glorious. Say to God, how fearsome are your works. Because of the abundance of your strength, your enemies will cower before you. All the earth will worship you and will sing praises to you. They will sing praises to your name. Selah. 
Come and see the works of God, who is fearsome in his deeds toward the sons of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. There, let us be glad to him. He rules by his might forever. He rule, uh, His eyes keep watch on the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Selah. Bless, <clears throat> excuse me, bless our God, O peoples, and make the sound of his praise heard, who establishes us among the living, and does not allow our feet to stumble. For you have tested us, O God. You have refined us as silver is refined. You brought us into the net. You establish an oppressive burden upon our loins. You made men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. Yet you brought us out into a place of abundance. I shall come into your house with burnt offerings. I shall pay you my vows, which my lips uttered. And my mouth spoke while I was in distress. I shall offer to you burnt offerings of fat beasts with the smoke of rams. I shall make an offering of bulls with male goats. Selah. Come and hear all who fear God and I will recount what he has done for my soul. I called out to him with my mouth, and he was exalted with my tongue. If I see wickedness in my heart, the Lord will not hear. But certainly God has heard. He has given heed to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not turned away my prayer, nor his loving kindness from me. Psalm 67 God, be gracious to us, and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us. Selah. That your way may be known on the earth, your salvation among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you will judge the peoples with uprightness, and lead the nations on the earth. Selah. Let all the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its produce. God, our God, blesses us. God blesses us, that all the ends of the earth may fear him. Let's move on now to Isaiah 14. When Yahweh will have compassion on Jacob, and again choose Israel, and put them into their own land, then sojourners will join them, and attach themselves to the house of Jacob. And the peoples will take them along, and and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel will possess them as an inheritance in the land of Yahweh, for their male and female slaves. And they will take their captors captive, and will have dominion over their taskmasters. And it will be in the day when Yahweh gives you rest from your pain and turmoil and harsh slavery in which you have been enslaved, that you will take up this taunt against the king of Babylon and say, How the taskmaster has ceased, and how fury has ceased. Yahweh has broken the staff of the wicked, the scepter of rulers, which used to strike the peoples in fury with unceasing strokes which had dominion over the nations in anger with unrestrained uh, persecution. The whole earth is at rest and quiet. They break forth into shouts of joy. Even the cypress trees are glad over you, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since you were laid low, no tree cutter comes up against us. Sheol from beneath trembles excitedly over you to meet you when you come. It wakens for you the spirits of the dead, all the leaders of the earth. It raises all the kings of the nations from their thrones. They will all answer and say to you, Even you, when you have, uh, rather, even you uh, have been made weak as we. You have become like us. Your pride in the music of your harps have been brought down to Sheol, the place of the dead. Maggots are spread out as your bed beneath you, and worms are your covering. How have you fallen from heaven, rather, how you have fallen from heaven, O star of the morning, son of the dawn? You have been uh, cut down to the earth, you who have weakened the nations. These are important things to read through the notes here. 
But you said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit on the mount of assembly in the recesses of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. Nevertheless, you will be brought down to Sheol, to the recesses of the pit. Those who see you will gaze at you. They will certainly consider you, saying, Is this the man who made the earth tremble? Who caused kingdoms to quake? Who made the the, the world like a wilderness and pulled down its cities? Who did not allow his prisoners to go home? All the kings of the nation lie in glory, each in his own place. But you have been cast out of your grave like an an abhorred branch, clothed with those killed who are pierced with a sword, who go down to the stones of the pit like a trampled corpse. You will not be united with them in burial, because you have ruined your country. You have killed your people. May the seed of evildoers not be called upon forever. Prepare for his sons a place of slaughter because of the iniquity of their fathers. They must not arise and take possession of the earth and fill the face of the world with cities. I will rise up against them, declares Yahweh of hosts, and will cut off from Babylon name and remnant, offspring and posterity, declares Yahweh. I will also make it a possession for the hedgehog in swamps of water. And I will sweep it with the broom of destruction, declares Yahweh of hosts. Yahweh of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely, just as I have intended, so it has happened. And just as I have counseled, so it will stand. To break Assyria in my hand, and I will trod him down on my mountains. Then his yoke will be removed from them and his burden removed from their shoulder. This is the counsel that that is counseled against the whole earth, and this is the hand that is stretched out against the nations. For Yahweh of hosts has counseled, and who can thwart it? And as for his stretched out hand, who can turn it back? In In the year that King Ahaz died, this oracle came. Do not be glad, O Philistia, all of you, because the rod that struck you is broken. For from the serpent's root a viper will come out, and its fruit will be a flying, fiery serpent. And the foremost of the poor will eat, and the needy will lie down in security. I will put to death your root with famine, and it will kill off your remnant. Wail, O gate, cry, O city, melt away, O Philistia, all of you. For smoke comes forth, rather comes from the north, and there is no straggler in his ranks. How then will one answer the messengers of the nation that Yahweh has founded Zion? And the afflicted of his people will take refuge in it. Now 1 Peter chapter 2. Peter continues, Therefore, Laying aside all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and and envy and all slander, like newborn babies long for the pure milk of the word, so that by it you may grow in respect to salvation, if you have tasted the kindness of the Lord, and coming to him as to a, a living stone which has been rejected by men, but is choice and precious in the sight of God, You also, as living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house for a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For this is is contained in Scripture. Behold, I lay a cornerstone, uh, rather, I lay in Zion a choice stone, a precious cornerstone, and he who believes upon him will not be put to shame. This precious value, then, is for you who believe, but for those who disbelieve. The stone which the builders rejected, this became the very cornerstone, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. They stumble because they are disobedient to the word, and and to this stumbling they were also appointed. Uh, I, this is a good way to read it. 
Um, I prefer the way that the, um, let me find it here. All right. I prefer the way that the ESV renders the same text. They stumble because they disobey the word as they were destined to do. Kind of a, a more pointed statement for the same thing. Verse 9. But you are a chosen family, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession, so that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. For you were once not a people, but now you are the people of God. You had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from fleshly lusts, which wage war against the soul, by keeping your conduct excellent among the Gentiles, so that, in the thing which they slander you as evildoers, they may, because of your good works, as they observe them, glorify God in the day of visitation. Be subject for the sake of the Lord to every human institution, whether to a king as the one in authority, or to governors as sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and the praise of those who do good. For such is the will of God that by doing good, you may silence the ignorance of foolish men. Act as free people, and do not use your freedom as a covering for evil, but use it as slaves of God. Honor all people. Love the brethren. Fear God. Honor the king. Servants, be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to those who are good and considerate, but also to those who are crooked. For this finds favor, if, for the sake of conscience toward God, a person bears up under sorrows when suffering unrighteously. For what credit is there if, when you sin and are harshly treated, you endure? But if, when you do good and suffer for it, you endure, this finds favor with God. For to this you have been called, since Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps, who did no sin, nor was any deceit found in his mouth, who, being reviled, was not reviling in return. While suffering, he was uttering no threats but kept entrusting himself to him who judges righteously, who himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, so that having died to sin, we might live to righteousness. By his wounds you, have, or you were healed. For you were continually straying like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and overseers of your souls, or overseer of your souls. And that's it. That's all the text, and that is all the notes for today. So, God willing, we'll be back tomorrow. Behold the word of the Lord.